Hello mortals. Did you know that around 10% of your household energy consumption is due to vampire power, where electronics like TVs and microwaves consume energy even when turned off? Or if you convert a Taco Bell Burrito Supreme's caloric content into kinetic energy, that could lift up a car by a couple of centimeters. That might explain the intense bathroom experience. But none of these human endeavors get anywhere close to the energy output of what we can find in the cosmic zoo. From black hole mergers and magnetar flares, to hypernovae and the Big Bang itself, let's compare the most energetic events in the universe. Thanks to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. Solar Flares The Carrington event was the largest solar storm ever recorded, estimated to have released energy equivalent to 10 to the power of 25 joules. That's the equivalent of a couple of million hydrogen bombs, not all of which were thankfully directed toward the Earth. The Victorian people got to see auroras near the equator and had their telegraph systems catch fire, but aside from that, nothing too major given what Hollywood has been trying to make you believe. At most we just see pretty sky colors for a couple of days and have to wear SPF. Now let's increase the energy level by a factor of 100,000 billion for our next entry. Magnetar Flares Magnetars are a type of neutron star with magnetic fields around 100 trillion times stronger than that of the Earth. Don't even try to comprehend that number. These magnetic fields sometimes exert so much pressure on the magnetar that they crack the surface and unleash insane amounts of energy. Back in 2004 we observed the most powerful such event happening at 50,000 light years away, with 10 to the power of 39 joules released in just one-fifth of a second. That's more than our sun would release in 150,000 years. Even though so far away, it still disrupted some radio communication and outshone the moon for an instant. Now if it happened closer to Earth, we would not have a great time. Think that's a lot. Let's look at something 100 times more powerful. Blazar Jets A blazar is what you get when a supermassive black hole with an accretion disk accelerates particles to near light speed directly in our direction for us to observe in its entire glory. One of the craziest examples we've seen is OJ-287, which is a binary system of orbiting black holes, one 18 billion solar masses, and the other a meager 150 million solar masses. Once every six years, the smaller black hole crashes through the accretion disk of the larger hole and creates a flash of light with the luminosity of one trillion stars. But most of these jets happen due to the magnetic fields funneling material at relativistic speeds from the main black hole's poles. OJ-287 emitted 10 to the power of 39 joules per second, but hypothetical calculations show potential for the existence of blazars 100 times stronger than that. We're lucky to be 4 billion light years away from it. Being far away from the entries in this video seems to be a common theme so far. Neutron Star Mergers Imagine two of the most extreme objects in the universe. And now make them orbit each other. That can last for billions of years, but through the emission of gravitational waves, they lose energy and eventually spiral closer to each other. In the last 100 seconds before impact, they orbit each other hundreds of times per second, with tidal forces deforming them. At the moment of collision, they can reach up to 30% of the speed of light. And when the collision does happen, you get a flash brighter than a billion billion suns. At least that's what we observed the first time we saw such a merger. Depending on their mass, the end result could either be them collapsing into a black hole within milliseconds, or merging into one hypermassive neutron star. We still don't know what happened to that specific case, except that it went big boom flash. Hypernovae. Time to crank the energy level by a factor of 100 once again. We all know of supernovae. Well hypernovae make those look like firecrackers at a building demolition site. Those happen from the collapse of hypermassive giant stars that make our sun insecure. And to be honest it's valid. They release more energy in a few seconds than the sun ever will have in its lifetime. Do better sun. Hypernovae are about 100 times more energetic than supernovae, and if the latter happens once per century in our galaxy, we shouldn't expect to see a hypernova for a couple million years. Sometimes they are so strong, referred to as a pair instability hypernova, that the entire star is obliterated, leaving no remnant behind. On second thoughts, please don't do that dear son. Quasars What happens when you give a central supermassive black hole access to all the intergalactic gas it can possibly feed on? You get an accretion disk around it so hot and so bright that it outshines the entire damn galaxy. They release around 10 to the power of 40 joules of energy. Every second. For a couple million years. That's a bit more than attaching a hamster running on a wheel to a generator, 
and specifically 6.400 thousand quintillion quintillion hamsters. The most powerful we've witnessed, quasar, not hamster, is this one discovered in 2015 that's about 13 billion light years away with a black hole the mass of 12 billion solar masses. It's already been long extinguished and we're only seeing its ancient light now, but it had the luminosity of 420 trillion suns in the good old early days of the universe. Now were it to happen anywhere inside our galaxy, no amount of SPF would save your skin or the ozone layer. Black Hole Mergers Now perhaps the least bright entry in this list, but also one of the most energetic. If you had two black holes about to merge, there would be no intense flashes of light, no sudden gamma-ray bursts, no hypernovae, almost no nothing. Just two black blobs becoming a bigger black blob. But I said almost, because you'd have around 50 times the output of all the stars in the observable universe in that instant in the form of gravitational waves, where the mass of three suns converted into pure gravitational energy in a fraction of a second. At least that's the case with the first ever black hole merger we discovered in 2015. It took us so long to find them exactly because they are not emitting any light, except pure spacetime ripples. And because of the distance that the gravitational waves have to travel, by the time they reached Earth, the spacetime distortions were on the scale of fractions of an atomic nucleus. But if you were to stand close to a black hole merger, you would not have a good time. Everything would get very wobbly around you, including yourself, including your atoms, and including the subatomic particles that make up your atoms. Chances are they would all break apart and you'd be turned inside out. Okay, maybe not inside out but I put that there for dramatic effect. Gamma Ray Bursts of course we can't have this video without mentioning the most powerful class of explosions in the universe. They happen when huge stars collapse into black holes, or when a neutron star gets eaten by a black hole. I'm starting to feel that these black holes are up to no good. Gamma ray bursts usually last about 2 to 20 seconds, and again, outshine entire galaxies in the process. They're so rare that we've never observed one happen in our galaxy, luckily for us. If it did, and pointed at Earth, we might get the Ordovician Extinction 2.0, but their frequency is once every couple million years per galaxy. The biggest GRB we've noticed, nicknamed the boat, was visible to the naked eye for about 30 seconds, despite being about 2.4 billion light years away. It released the equivalent of about 10 octillion atomic bombs, as if these numbers haven't lost their meaning already. The theoretical upper limit for GRBs is from the collapse of population 3 stars that could reach energy levels at the order of 10 to the power of 49 joules, essentially outshining hundreds of galaxies combined. But there is one more event that is the most energetic of them all. The regret you might experience if I find out that you are not subscribed, or have not checked out my really cool merch store with the links in the description. Big Bang now does it really surprise anyone that the most energetic event in the universe was the sudden expansion that started it all? The Big Bang had a mind-boggling total net energy of exactly zero joules. What? Let me check my papers again. My source is that I made it the f- Yap, the total energy of the Big Bang was probably exactly zero. But how can that be? How do you get these fancy-looking explosions and galaxies and stars with zero energy input? The answer is negative energy in the form of gravity cancelling everything out. Imagine you're building a sand castle by digging the sand out of a hole. The total amount of sand did not change, even though you're building a castle out of it. That castle represents all the galaxies, stars, dark matter and dark energy that fills the universe. The hole however, is the gravitational potential energy of everything we can see and not see. The zero energy universe hypothesis claims that they exactly cancel out, and as a result, provide a mechanism to explain how our universe could have spawned from nothing. Technically it did borrow a lot of energy from this nothingness in order to create something, but this is a topic for another time. Because we have one more. Brilliant. Discovered this decade, the cosmic event named Brilliant.org is one of the strongest generators of raw energy in the form of knowledge, on par with the power of black holes colliding. Because its inner core contains interactive lessons, the Brilliant Sponsor event combines its knowledge potential energy with hands-on learning, resulting in the energy source you need to fuel your learning journey. Imagine a cosmic explosion of understanding as you dive into topics like math, data analysis, programming, and AI, not just by watching or reading, but by doing. 
Don't be afraid to get incinerated by its knowledge particle jets, as those were crafted by experts from top institutions like MIT and Caltech, specifically made to fit into your schedule with the ease of a gravitational wave passing through space, requiring just minutes a day to turn passive scrolling into active growth. To explore Brilliant for free for 30 days, head to brilliant.org slash science file or click the link in the description. And for that extra boost, you'll get 20% off an annual premium subscription. Go grab some of that cosmic knowledge.